welcome back to Barcelona. So here I am in La Rambla, a place that should be admired, a place that should be visited, a place that should be approached with caution. Having spent a lot of time in Barcelona over the many, many years, this is a place where thieves are a plenty. Now, the Spaniards or Catalonians would like you to believe that La Rambla has cleaned up its act. I beg to differ. There are still a number of the, some of the greatest pickpockets in the world. The clever, trained in the streets, pickpockets. The thing that you're experiencing if you ever come to La Rambla, right in the center of Barcelona, people are scoping for your pockets. Keep your wallets in your front pocket, keep your phone in your front pocket, and just be on guard. Better hide your wallet. Yeah. It's never happened to me. It will probably happen as we're walking down here. That's the way it usually happens, Nat. So far, so good. It's a place that you shouldn't really be avoided. It, it, it's really nothing to worry about. Like I say, it is a place that you should approach with caution, especially as you get down to the, the end of La Rambla. And if you're a single man, you will be approached by a certain type of woman will try to approach you. Prostitutes. That's what you're thinking, Finch. It used to happen a lot. I don't know if this happens anymore. It's the first time I've walked down La Ramba in quite a few years. The last time was pre-COVID, so... We have not had dealings with the dwarves since the dark days. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the whole place has cleaned up its act. But from my understanding, every time uh, one of my compadres or amigos heads to Barcelona, it's amazing how many people find themselves scuppered by what happens in La Rambla. And I'm always shocked, actually. I'm always shocked that it keeps happening to people. I don't understand how you can be that stupid when it comes to keeping your personal belongings safe. They were drunk. Making sure that you're not sat at a table with your phone on the table so someone can come over and put a map on the table and say, excuse me, excuse me, I'm looking for this place. That's a very old trick and a very common trip in La Rambla. The thing about La Rambla is one of these beautiful places where there are magnificent old buildings. You can avoid getting run over. This one, the Hotel, Hotel Orient, beautiful building. And uh, these reasonably charming restaurants, although I have to be honest, it's always better to eat off main strips. You will have a better deal. We'll give you some idea on prices. What'll it cost, man? What'll it cost? It's not overtly expensive. It's 11 95 for three tapas. It's a reasonably good value. It's a good price. It's a good price, I suppose, eh? Thank you. But does it taste good? That's the question. One of my favorite squares, actually. Let's head to my one of my favorite squares. It would be a shame to miss it. We're going to head off La Rambla. We're going to... Thank you for thank the traffic for stopping. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Whew. Thank you very much. Now we're going to head to this little area over here. It's a beautiful square. At night it really comes alive, but in the early evening it's about it's about five thirty now. So as it gets dark, you start seeing all these people selling LED things, throwing them up into the air. There's a couple of good clubs around. Back in the day, it used to be an amazing techno club that way. I have to say, I'm a little bit old now. I don't know if it still exists. You grew up. You got old. This is a magnificent square. This square has seen some things over the years. Some of the greatest people have walked through this square, including you guys now and myself coming back here for the umpteenth time. I love the architecture in this square. It is beautiful. Look at this. Fantastic. It's a beautiful square. Some top restaurants around the edge of the square. If you're not price sensitive, you can get a real good feed in Barcelona. But we're not going to do that. Look at all these amazing it's flipping pigeons. It's flying, flying around, taking us out. But let's go this way, I said. Let's go this way. Let's go back to the Rambler and see if we can spot a thief. Let's see. Let's see if we can get ourselves a thief on camera. Is it going to be a video where we catch a thief? Or is it a video where we just see some amazing things? Only time will tell. So join me on this Restore Barcelona, they say. I have to say, Barcelona is looking less shabby than London these days. So they're doing a good job in restoring Barcelona. 
this, I have seen a number of bits of graffiti that say tourists get out. That's one thing I have to admire the Barcelonans for. They don't, they don't shy when it comes to putting putting their points across, and you can't really blame them, to be honest. There are far too many people in urban cities like Barcelona pushing the prices up. Airbnbs are putting the prices up. What else is putting the prices up? Tourism is pushing the prices up. Locals that have been here for a long time are struggling to compete when it comes to pricing and rent. So, you know, it's one of these things. C'est la vie. I remember back in the day, it used to be more flowers. Flowers and there would be pet sellers. Now we have knickknacks and one euro and fridge magnets. Over here, we got the usual scene where someone's posing as a Posing something, this one's a xenomorph over here. Excuse me, sir. Uh, a what? A xenomorph. I'm trying to focus on that guy. I don't know where the predator is, but there's a xenomorph. Actually, this is a place I used to come when I was about 24. I wasn't that original in terms of my thinking when I was 24 years old. But the time I spent the most time in Barcelona was a couple of decades ago. I remember there used to be tables and chairs outside that pub. Can we see it now? There used to be tables and chairs outside that pub. And you could watch people getting scoped out. There was a lot more thieving back then. I think Barcelona's cleaned its act up in a way. I don't think it's as bad as it once was. But I could be wrong. We certainly have a more crowded Barcelona. I'm so disorientated where we were. I thought we were literally about to pop into the, the old market. But we chose to walk straight past it a while ago. Pretty much where the start of the video began. Just near there is the old market. Instead we get to experience the tat sellers. The tat sellers of uh, Barcelona and the, uh, the restaurants. This is where at night time, if you're on this point in Barcelona, you, you would have to get wary. Looks very safe right now, but normally at night time, this is where this point here it gets a little bit unsafe. But now we have, as we approach the beautiful statue of uh, Christopher Columbus down here, and some amazing people with their ability to stand still for hours upon end until you put a dime or a euro in the tray. Here we are. Some amazing sort of outfits going on. I feel guilty filming when you're not paying the money. If you're gonna film someone like that I think you should always pay the money. We have a nice market here. Beautiful market. Now if this is the USA, off here in the distance you see that tower over there, that, that column people would be pulling that down right now because this is Christopher Columbus statue. State troopers were there as it was going on. Uh, the group ultimately though were able to tie the ropes around the statue and as you can see pulled it down and destroyed it. Uh, the statue was unveiled in 1931. But it's thankfully not the USA and thankfully it is in Spain or Catalonia and Columbus looks out to sea not facing towards the Americas because it's facing towards the Mediterranean but that is obviously where he had to set sail from before he began his voyage down into the Mediterranean out of the Mediterranean then across the Atlantic to the Americas where Christopher Columbus not the first European to discover the Americas but the first European to stake a claim on the Americas and the first European to recognize that there was another continent another land he discovered the Windies first the West Indies and then he discovered South America. I saw France, Africa, half of South America. And I say pioneers like that should be celebrated, not dishonored. When you get the woke. <laughs> Numpties trying to dishonor someone like Columbus. I think it's sacrilege to human pioneers. And here he is off in the distance, just there. But as we approach the port, I think this is where I will bid you farewell on my very brief little wander down La Rambla.
we have seen no thieves. <laughs> maybe, maybe Barcelona's cleaned its act up. But if I tell you something, if I see some in the next, I see some, I will try to film them. Anyway, until next time. With Chris the Columbus over here. Keep progressing.